Good morning, church. This is Margie Mayer uh, again. Thank you for um, allowing me to be uh, part of um, Heart to Home devotions. This morning I woke up with uh, these words on my heart, and I think it was very fitting to uh, go in with what um, I wanted to share with you today. And those words are, do not be afraid. Um, while you get your Bible turning to Psalms 91, um, I'm going to go ahead and pray and give you just a minute to get set. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you for your continued truth, your continued support, and just who you are. And Lord, as it seems like everything continues to fall apart around us, even when our, heat, our air conditioner goes off and it feels like the heater's on in the middle of summer, we just have to trust you. And we know that you will work all things for our good, for your glory. And we just give you this praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Psalms 91. Um, we as Christians know that we are not exempt from dangers um, here on earth or suffering discomfort, but God does promise that he is our help in times of danger, discomfort, disease, and distresses. Let's read Psalms 91 verse 1 together. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. Um, he dwells, at, let's look at the word dwells, I'm sorry. Um, think about your home. Do you visit it or do you dwell in it? It is your shelter from the weather outside. It's a place of rest. It's a place where you gather with your family and friends. It's where you feel most comfortable. It's a mini refuge. Let's go ahead and read verse 2. I, shall, I will say to the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. The Lord says that he is my refuge, he is my fortress. Uh, do you put the emphasis on my, or do you just say a fortress, a refuge? It does make a difference of how our attitude is on that. And let's finish the, the, the verse a little slower this time. It says, my God. In him, I will trust. Um, and when we put our trust in the Lord, that's where we need to stay. Let's read verse 3. Surely he will deliver you from the snares of the fowler and from the perilous parasites. Um, which, when God's eyes are on you as watchful defense or a defender, we can be assured that no plot against us shall succeed. And he tells us that many times in his, in his word, that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Verse 4, And he shall cover you with his feathers, and under his wings you shall take refuge. This one is one of my favorites. Um, it's a favorite to visualize. Uh, it's a wonderful expression of tender care, protection, and of being loved. He shall cover you with his feathers. Under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. I picture a mother, uh, mother chicken with its little chicks when danger is about, or when a storm is raging, or when it's just time to sleep. She gathers her chicks under her protective wings where, she feel, where they feel warm and safe and taken care of and close to her heart they are very loved his truth his faithfulness is a shield and a buckler the sound that sounds like a double armor to me those who rely on god's truth bears a shield of truth but also a coat of mail one of one that can be willed one can be wielded about, and the other is worn protecting vital organs. Ephesians 6, 10 through 13 gives us a great visual of what the whole armor of God is and how we are to put it on, and we, remember, we must remember to put it on daily. Verse 5 and 6. You shall not be afraid of the terrors by night, or the arrows that fly by day, nor the pestilence that walk in darkness, or the destruction that lays waste at noonday. Fear is a form of torment, and is not from God. 
God is our protector. The shadow of the Almighty removes the gloom that the night, uh, the night shadows hold. There is no arrow that can, not even the fiery darts of the evil one, that can destroy the righteousness of God. The Lord has given us the promise that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. I want to take a look back at verse 1 again. And remember that word I said, think about this word. He dwells in the shelter of the Almighty. Um, the, uh, the Most High gives us a, a valuable insight of how we, um, why we do not have to be afraid. If we dwell there in his safety, he gives us peace and shelter. But if we go and visit, and we may get caught in the storms. We may be caught in the crossfires. God's peace surpasses all understanding. It's peace. His peace isn't just for a time or a season. It's not just that it rises with the sun or sets with it as well. It does not depend on the healthiness around us or the security of our country. Our trust is in the Lord, not in man. Verses 6 and 7, I'm sorry, 7 and 8. A thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked. You may see what's going on, um, but we don't have to response to respond to the, or I'm sorry, the recompense of the evil, but the one who is consumed with God is not driven by the contagion. He holds us in truth. I'm going to finish out the rest of the chapter, uh, or the yeah, the rest of the chapter, chapter uh, verse nine. But you have made the Lord, who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling to keep you in all your ways. In your hands they shall bear you up, lest they dash your, their, your foot against a stone. You shall not tread upon the lion and the, you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent. You shall not, you shall trample underfoot, sorry, uh, because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will see him on high, because he knows my name. And he who calls upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him, and show him my salvation. The Lord does not, does the Lord will not go, will not let go of us. Remember, he holds our hands first in love. He says he will deliver his own. He needs, uh, we need to call upon him and he will answer. He will be with us in times of trouble. He will uh, rescue and honor those who remain in his shelter. Dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Abide under the shadow of his wings. Let him protect you and give you peace. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, just um, today, um, it just really ministered to me again just how important your word is to be in, to um, not just look at it, um, but to ponder on it, to, to believe the promises that are in there. And Lord, I just pray that you would continue to give us the strength and the endurance to continue and to trust in you, and that we believe that you will not let us go. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for letting me join you. And if I had a tagline, it would have to be, never give up, never give in, stay strong in the Lord. I love you all. Bye.